here at the Detroit Auto Show for probably the fifth year with this competition. And a lot of the media at the show during these press days has been following the competition for years. They were excited to see the prize awarded in summer of last year. And now they're excited to see these teams make forward progress into bringing these vehicles to market. The X Prize is more than just a prize, more than just a check. Uh, it gave us tremendous media exposure. We have friends in the media. It opens stores. Edison 2 is the most efficient four-seat automobile in the history of the automobile. We know what we're building. We're building a much more refined car, an easy to get in and out of car, a FMVSS compliant car that I think is going to be a, a whole new automobile segment. And it's all due to the X Prize. This is the Wave 2, which was the winner in the alternative side-by-side -side category of the X Prize competition. And that has vaulted the company into a new thing, and we also have created the Inizio. We are the first company to move from prototype to production from the XPRIZE competition. We are now taking reservations for both the Wave 2 and the Inizio. And as of this morning, in less than 24 hours, we've already got five people who have put money down to reserve their car here. And this is where we intend to grow from. Definitely winning the X Prize has been a game changer for Peravis. 2011 is the year that the Monotracer E is coming uh, to the market. It will be built in the United States of America, in California, by the company uh, which helped us win the X Prize, AC Propulsion. That is a partnership I am very, very proud of because. Those are like the godfathers of electric drives. And they said, yes, we will adopt the Monotracer and do the final assembly in our factory in California. Our initiative really is collecting the stories of innovation today that will help inspire new generations to get new ideas, to use your imagination and creativity. And we're going at the core of it by talking to the innovators themselves. So the Edison's 2 story as the XPRIZE winner is a great story of the process of innovation that we're unfold for all the public to see throughout the world. The Henry Ford is America's great automobile museum, so it's extremely flattering. It wouldn't have happened without winning an XPRIZE. It's an honor beyond expectation. When I was six years old, my dad brought me up here and, and we went through the Henry Ford Museum in Greenfield Village. And I remember the Jim Clark Lotus, the, the Indianapolis 500 winning car. And now to have a vehicle that I was part of, the engineering side, and drove in competition, to sit right alongside that vehicle on the floor of the Henry Ford Museum is something really special. It's, uh, it's something that I'll be able to, uh, uh, multiple years down the road, maybe 40 or 50 years, take my grandchildren through the museum and point out and say, you know, that's my name right there. That was, that was something that I was a part of, and it's going to be special. So as we move forward with this competition, we're going to continue to promote the accomplishments of our winning teams and of our finalist teams through a series of online activities, events like this auto show and the DC auto show, at the same time as our teams go forward trying to bring their vehicles to market. Those teams are going to make more investment decisions like Edison 2 has with their development, uh, with their development facility and we're gonna see other teams taking their next steps in bringing vehicles to market. So I can't wait for our next auto show where we can announce more progress with those teams.